Hai, saya Kristina Anak Kaboy, belia dari Senmak Batu Kawah. Untuk episod Laksa for Awal Jiwa uh, minggu ini, saya ingin berkongsi tentang masalah kesihatan mental. I believe that I'm not the only one struggling with this and I've been depressed for 5 to 6 years but I day by day I slowly try to let it go and forgive myself for what's happening in my past because I want to have a peace of mind and a happy heart I, I used to feel every day is a bad day to me which I'm I'm excited on to do something but I want to be happy but I believe that something bad will happen something will make me sad macam tu lah and there's a lot of the what if question in my head and it always make me doubt myself I get nervous about everything And I feel my heart is pounding. Sometimes um, I have trouble in sleeping. I feel pain in my chest. But the only way to calm myself is take a deep breath and ask God to give me strength to endure this situation. And my biggest fear is to talk to a person, especially. Like every day lah saya bekerja kan uh, jumpa dengan customer so I meet a lot of people jadi and there's a time there's a day I feel like I don't want to talk to anybody so pernah dalam one or two months macam tu um, saya balik kerja makan mandi terus masuk bilik And I need time to myself because I feel like saya sudah kehabisan bateri. And especially kalau macam ada gathering or meeting, I usually menjadi seorang yang sangat pendiam. Bukan sebab saya malu, but there's a lot of thing happen in my head. And I feel the world is too noisy for me. I scared of being judged. And... I feel like I scared of um how to say uh like nobody would listen to me so I I'll, I'll distance myself and then I start to feel alone restless honestly I hate being in that situation macam saya rasa kehidupan saya tidak sihat So I feel like I want to get out from this because it hurts actually. It's really hurt. I don't like it. So itu memang memang susah lah agak saya untuk um, cope with it. Pada mula-mula saya rasa begini, but day by day I'm getting better. So I find I try to find happiness in the simplest of things. Contohnya macam um, seseorang minta bantuan, so when I help them, I feel happy. It's okay if you're being treated badly. Don't mind what people are saying about you, because we can't expect much on them. So just be kind and be positive. So um, the biggest thing I want to tell you is it's okay to struggle. Know that you are not alone, because there's other people are struggling with you. So right now, you might be thinking that there's no way out, and the only way out is to end it. Hidup ini memang sementara, but just be patient with yourself, because kalau kamu rasa nak Hentikan kehidupan kamu, kamu takkan ada chance, tak ada opportunity untuk uh, rasa kebahagiaan dalam kehidupan kamu. And try to put some motivation words or quotes, like selalu saya jumpa dalam 
uh, post dekat Facebook selalu juga orang post uh, motivation quotes or words lah. So kadang-kadang saya pun saya pun bukan jenis yang hari-hari baca Bible but sometimes I do Google some quotes when I feel um, down. Kalau saya rasa takut, I will Google uh, Bible Bible quotes lah. So I search and one thing, one Bible quotes yang saya suka is Isaiah chapter 14 verse 10. It says, yang saya ingat ya, ayat pertama sejalah yang saya ingat. Fear not for I am with you. So bila saya uh, ungkapkan perkataan itu and then I, I feel like macam ada sentuhan dalam diri saya and then I will immediately rasa tenang lah tenang sedikit daripada sebelum itu and do something that makes you happy and before that um, kalau kamu baca quotes yang bagi kamu positif make sure that you put it in yourself make it as a habit lah And I promise that you will be better. And of course, do something that make you happy. Kalau before this, kamu ada hobi tapi kamu sudah pun tidak minat dengan hobi kamu yang lama. So try to find something new yang um, boleh buat kamu rasa um, excited untuk buat lah. Contohnya mungkin kamu boleh pergi hiking or um, buat doodles or coloring macam itu for examples so I don't know this is what I'm um, saya buat lah and last but not least start everything you do with just a simple prayer ask God to strengthen or strengthen you supaya roh kudus bekerja dalam kamu in whatever you do You can always run back to God when you feel lost and unloved. Saya tahu banyak yang di kalangan muda-mudi sekarang, mereka bukanlah uh, jenis yang alim. Mungkin tidak hari-hari kamu akan uh, berdoa, but at least try to speak to God. Macam kamu bercakap dengan kawan kamu lah. For example, like me, Um, kalau saya rasa macam sesuatu perasaan itu terlalu membebankan saya, saya akan cakap dengan Tuhan. Lord, um, tolong bagi saya kekuatan untuk saya lakukan uh, pekerjaan ini. Contohlah macam itu. So, um, pesanan saya yang terakhir is have faith, believe that you can, together we can go through this. And don't be hard on yourself. Whatever you do today, let it be enough. So, uh, change and keep shining. So, this is Christina from St. Mark. Uh, serving you laksa for our jiwa. Selamat menjamu selera. Happy eating and holy living. <laughs>